Cells can signal to the immune system that they have been infected by a virus by presenting viral antigens to cytotoxic T cells using class I molecules of the major histocompatibility complex. This animation will explore the assembly of class I molecules, an essential part of host defense against viral infection. Following infection, a virus takes advantage of the host's cellular machinery to create proteins required for its propagation. Within the cytosol, host enzymes like the proteasome break down some of these viral proteins. The resulting viral peptide fragments join self-peptides generated from the turnover of normal cellular proteins. These molecules diffuse toward the endoplasmic reticulum, or ER, where they may come in contact with a specialized transporter known as TAP. TAP functions to transport peptide fragments from the cytosol to the ER lumen. It is here within the ER that peptides bind to the key protein involved in antigen presentation, the class I molecule of the major histocompatibility complex. Class I molecules consist of a membrane-bound heavy chain, a soluble subunit called beta-2 microglobulin, and a peptide fragment derived from either self or viral proteins. The assembly of class I molecules begins with the folding of the heavy chain, assisted by the molecular chaperone calnexin and an associated enzyme termed ERP57. Calnexin stabilizes the heavy chain and prevents aggregation, while ERP57 catalyzes the formation of disulfide bonds. Subsequent binding of the beta-2 microglobulin subunit causes a major conformational change in the heavy chain that creates a peptide binding groove and is critical for the entry of class I molecules into the peptide loading complex, or PLC. Within the PLC, calnexin is replaced by cal reticulin, a closely related chaperone that also binds ERP57. The remaining components of the PLC are the TAP transporter, and a remarkable protein called tapicin, which plays several roles in the stability and function of the peptide loading complex. Tapicin binds ERP57, which, along with its associated calreticulin chaperone, plays an important structural role in stabilizing the PLC. Tapicin also serves as a bridge between the class I molecule and TAP, which ensures the proximity of class I to incoming peptides. Finally, tapicin stabilizes the TAP transporter, increasing the flow of peptides into the ER lumen. However, recent research suggests that tapicin has a more direct role in peptide loading, actively promoting the loading of high affinity peptides into the class I binding groove. Tapicin may have the ability to widen the peptide binding groove to allow a wide range of peptides to be sampled. Low affinity peptides dissociate rapidly. High affinity peptides that closely fit the binding groove induce a conformational change. Tapicin responds to this change by dissociating, which results in the disassembly of the entire PLC. The newly peptide loaded MHC class I molecule proceeds along the cell's secretory pathway and is displayed at the surface where it is examined by receptors on cytotoxic T-cells. Class I molecules containing self-peptides are ignored, but those containing viral peptide antigens are recognized and trigger the release of molecules such as granzymes and perforin, which results in killing of the infected cell.